Hey, it's Cherry. I want to take literally three minutes and I want to talk to you about identifying respiratory distress, respiratory failure, and respiratory arrest. This is going to be done in that primary assessment when you first approach your patient. And so we're going to look at the airway. Is it open and patent? Okay. The second thing we're going to look at is, is the breathing broken and do I need to fix it? Okay. Um, and so to look at that, we're looking at two things. Guys, don't make this hard. Your patient can be working very hard to breathe. They can look terrible. But the question at hand right here is, is the breathing broken and do I need to get my BVM and fix it? So because of that, we're looking at two factors. One of them is a, are they breathing? Okay, because if they're not, we're gonna classify that as respiratory arrest. We're gonna grab a BVM and we're gonna breathe for them entirely. Okay, if they are breathing, then I need to know, do they have enough air moving in and out of their chest to make the chest rise? Okay, if the answer to that is yes, then the tidal volume, the amount of air they're moving with each breath is adequate. I don't need to fix that. The second thing I'm gonna look at is rate. Okay, is the rate adequate? And when I look at that, I'm looking at, is it less than 10? Because if it's less than 10, that's not fast enough. I need to get the BVM, I need to change that. On the other end of the spectrum, I'm gonna say, is it greater than 30? If it's greater than 30, then they're breathing so fast, they're not getting time for that gas exchange in the alveoli. And I need to fix that. And I'm also gonna do that with either coaching them or very likely using a BVM to slow their breathing down, okay? So if the tidal volume, the chest rise is not okay, or if the rate is not okay, these patients are in respiratory failure, which means I gotta fix it with the BVM, okay? If that's okay, and they look terrible, they're gray, you know they're hypoxic, we got something to fix, but it isn't the breathing, okay? Now we may give that patient oxygen, and, and we're gonna go on a hunt to figure out what's going on. Does that make sense? So when we get to the B part of that primary assessment, we're looking at tidal volume, we're looking at rate. It is that simple. Have a great day.